everyone! Welcome to my first narrated drawing video. So I'm gonna try and give these a shot more often. So just so I can explain what I'm doing during my drawing and maybe make it more interesting and everything. So this is the Team Iron Man piece I'm working on. It's gonna go along with Team Cap I'm doing later, where they're wearing all ball caps, because that seems to be a thing in the show. <laughs> So, right now I'm just sketching it out. I was having trouble deciding where everyone should go. Like, should they be floating around or what? The worst was uh, Black Panther, because, I don't know, you'll see, it'll come up soon. And, uh, yeah. So it's a joke about, uh, well, Team Cap is going to be wearing ball caps. Team Iron Man is wearing, like, dress shirts, button-up shirts, suits and ties for, you know, all those ironed outfits. I was thinking about making Vision ironing clothes, but I thought that was a little too much, so didn't go with that. So, yeah. I'm just sketching away. Well, here we go with Black Panther. It's I mess around with them a lot. And I figured it all needed to be dutched a little more, so I turned them sideways. And yeah, so this video is going to be a long one, because this piece took about 10 to 12 hours, around there. So yeah, and I sped it up about 5,000% so it's gonna be only about 15 minutes now and here I am trying to draw the irons to go in the background I was gonna do more of the traditional iron but that didn't feel like Tony to me so it's I drew the more modern kind and I was having trouble trying to draw it in the piece so I had to do another canvas and draw it on there just so I can make the long section and then I can copy paste and move it around and scale it however I wanted and then I had to do it a few times because I think it's still a bit off so you'll see me copy paste and scale it around the back a few times yeah so this piece is gonna be it's gonna be mostly red and you'll see me struggle with the background a lot because it doesn't it either is too pale or it's too red and everyone blends in especially like Vision's face and Nat's hair so that was a struggle and then also like Rhodey and T'Challa's skin color yeah. There's not a whole lot else to talk about. I'm working in Manga Studio 5 and I'm using a modified pencil brush by Kyle. I'll add a link in the description about where you can buy them. They're really awesome. I just modified this one so it's way more uh textured like his is uh has a little more thickness to it but I wanted a little more spaces and texture in between so I just modified it a little bit so I mostly use the 4B real pencil and the transparent watercolor to blend everything and then I usually go over it again with the pencil to add the texture It was just lots and lots of blending and uh, I use multiply layers and overlay layers. I pr pretty much paint on one layer but then when I want shadows I'll do a multiply layer, add in all the shadows usually in one color to complement it. Like usually I use dark blue or purple. I think it was purple in this case. 
And then once I finish the shadows, I usually merge it down. So it's again only on one layer. So, and then I do the same with the overlay layer. I'll add an overlay layer on top and I'll add, make it a clipping mask so it doesn't go anywhere else besides what's on the main layer. And I'll do that with the multiply layer as well. So I'll add the highlights and then I'll merge it down again. And I usually erase anywhere that I don't want anything to go. So the shadow and the highlights don't go anywhere else besides where it's clipping onto you. And you can do that in Photoshop as well and in Paint Tool Sci. So yeah, just adding all the details, all the wrinkles in the clothes. The hands on Tony were giving me a really hard time, but they turned out alright in the end. And Black Panther looks so silly right now, but I fix him up. My favorite part was probably coloring Nat's hair and Vision's face. They both turned out really great. And I had to fix Peter up too, because he looked so silly before. And then he looked almost like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, so I flipped the canvas and fixed him up. Yeah, lots, just lots of lots and lots of blending and details. And I use the mesh tool, as you just seen, to fix anything that looks off. It really helps. Like, you can do it in Photoshop as well. So you can flip the canvas and, like, use the mesh tool to make sure all the proportions or whatever you're fixing looks okay. Yeah, that helps so much because lots of my stuff looks off like maybe an eye is like way off to the edge or something so I can just fix it like that or a head you know like if you're right-handed or left-handed your drawings seem to be angled in one direction using the mesh tool really helps with that oh I loved adding the shines to Tony's glasses that was a really great part in the end the painting came out a little too red so I had to fix it a bit. I used color balance and um, added more blue to the shadows and cayenne to the highlights and all that. So, because their skin and everything turned out a bit too red and like the background was like way too saturated. Right now I just took off the background because it was way too distracting that everything was blending in too much and this just helps me see where there are pieces that I need to erase or where and like where to shade and where to highlight because there's no background distracting me since it's not like an environmental background where they're like actually in the scene they're just kind of floating there so the background doesn't really help in that case otherwise I would keep it on for the most part so what I do is I add, once I add the shadows and highlights, I'll go over the painting layer and just use the eyedrop tool and grab colors or I'll add, or I'll just add them manually through the picker. And I'll go over with the pencil tool and add the highlights or shadows and then I'll blend it with the uh, transparent watercolor tool. So I have been using, oh wait, I used, uh, to add more texture to the skin, I use the spray tool and adds droplets, and I'll use also a multiply and overlay layer for the skin with the drop tool, and I'll add little dots to their skin so it looks like they have pores and everything. It just adds a nice little detail like that. So yeah, this part was great, adding the detail to Nat's hair. That's the funnest part. Little Peter. So cute. And yeah, so the, um, you can usually purchase Manga Studio 5 for like $15 when it's on sale. And I've 
rec really recommend it. It's really great for like line art and everything. It takes a bit of getting used to because it is a bit different from Paint Tool Sci and Photoshop and all that. And this is not sponsored or anything, but I just really enjoy it. I've been using it for about a year now. And sorry about all the Facebook pop-ups on the bottom. I should really turn those off. I will next time. Yeah, lots of blending and shading. Little Peter's hair. So let me know, guys, what you like me to say and what I should say, and if I should add more music in between, because I feel like lots of my videos are going to be about this long if I'm doing the bigger pieces for sure. So yeah, let me know, please. And I'm going to be doing the cap video as well, but that's only going to be available for my Patreon, so if you want to see that, you're going to have to support me. And yeah. But I will be posting more of these to everyone else because I want to start getting my YouTube channel going. It's been something I've wanted to do. Been doing lots of research. Oh, I loved uh, doing T'Challa's skin. It was great. I kind of wanted to draw him in the Black Panther outfit though. I just love it so much. It's so slick. And there's little breaks here and there. Let me know if I should just cut those out because they seem kind of silly. Like sometimes I'll do this, record these during a live live stream, so there'll be little BRBs and everything. <laughs> so those kind of look silly when it's an official video, but who knows? As long as they're sped up a little more, it's usually okay. I don't usually leave for very long. Yeah, I think Black Panther turned out okay, but he was kind of not fitting so well in the beginning. It was hard to get Rhodey's facial features as well. He has very defined features. I had to fix Tony up a bit because his body came out kind of too tiny. I still think his shoulder is way too close to where his head is. but. Learning, learning, learning. Oh, and here's Vision. He was like, his face was not good in the beginning, but the more I worked on it, he turned out so cute in the end. It's just those blue eyes and like, super detailed face. His little dapper outfit. I read he likes to wear ascot ties in like, an article, so I love that. <laughs> I imagine he dresses a bit like Jarvis from Agent Carter and everything. I'm sorry if my audio is kind of bad, I'm just using a webcam audio. I'd like to get a better one soon, so. but we'll see. We'll see how my videos go. I like love and hate doing Vision's face because it's so detailed that it's like so tedious I always have to look at reference. But at the same time, in the end, it looks so good if you do it right. And it's also just fun to do detail. I just love doing those things, so. And his blue eyes. Also, because it's red skin, it's so different with, like, the metal accents. I'm not much of a robot drawing person, but he's alright. Since he's not a robot anyway, he's a synthesoid. We're getting close to the end, so thank you for sticking around, if you're still watching. This took so long, I was not expecting it, but it was really fun. Drawing so many characters, I'm not used to it. And I'm really becoming more proud and like loving my art more the more I'm doing full illustrations and putting more work into it. I'd usually try and like pump stuff out really fast and I'd like it for a little bit but then I'm kind of just doing it to get my art out there but I'm really proud of this stuff. Oh and here I put the 
I really saturated the background and I wanted to add little gold and silver like metal bits to this to be like official and there'll be one on the team cap as well and I would since they were blending so far into the background I was debating whether to put white and that's it I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching